Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here. Just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Argentina against Brazil. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Strains of the national anthem of Brazil. National anthem of Argentina rings out. the lineups we've just been given Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Neymar. Neymar, surely. He has an array of skills that can elevate the quality of a match or, or change its course with a flash of brilliance. Uh, his talent can, can take this game to a, a higher level of excitement, and I hope it does. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Looks to slip it through. Fabinho with the ball through. Now it's Gabriel. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Chip through. It's got through to him. Oh, he's come flying in. Thrust towards the front line. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. Gabriel. And he's onside. Can he put it away? And he's there to hoof it away. It'll be a throw in. And it's Casemiro. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Neymar. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Aguero. Now the pass. Aguero. That's gone a long way up and away. Aguero unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. And it's Messi. Lo Celso. Now it's Aguero. Correa! Good stop. That wasn't easy. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. And it's Gabriel. Looking to shoot! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him.
Otamendi gets good distance on it. Correa. And he's made certain that won't get through. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Is it in? Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. There will be a throw-in. Talia Fico. Lo Celso. It's a long forward pass. Fabinho. So a third of the match or thereabouts. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Aguero absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Chance. Turns and goes back. This could fall anywhere. Aguero. And it's Gabriel. Chance to shoot. Who's going to make this theirs? Ah, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Passes it through. Goes for goal. Goal! Argentina! Drawn. What about that, Jim Beglin? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Argentina take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. And that's a throw in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Neymar. Fabinho. And it's Messi. Lobs it in gently. Alexandro. Fabinho plays a clever pass. Aimed long and direct. And it's Messi. Balls come loose and the chase is on. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Oh, lots on that one, but he couldn't find the target. Well, I wasn't expecting him to try his look from so far out, but that was close. I mean, it kept the keeper on his toes.
Now it's Aguero. Correa. Fred pumps it forwards. Now it's Neymar. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Deftly done. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Well, that's surely a foul free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Argentina with a decent chance here, and there's little doubt about who'll take it. Well, this certainly fits the bill when it comes to the man for the occasion. Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. So what now? It's come through, and he's had a quick look inside. And we've reached half-time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Argentina, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Argentina carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Fabinho. Oh, good interception. Aguero looks like a good ball through. Alexandro does well to read it and intercepts. And it's Correa. Now it's Aguero. Lo Celso. Oh, that's neat. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Fred boots it upfield. Now the pass. Messi. Oh, great ball! That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Fabinho. Firmino. Paredes. Tries a long pass towards the front. He goes long. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Brazil uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Fred tries the route one option. Looking to force his way through. Marcelso, he does have an assist to his name. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Now it's Aguero. Fred. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And it's Messi. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Well, the idea was crafty, but the weight of the pass was just a little light. Lo Celso. Messi. Lo Celso. The referee's awarded a free kick.
Argentina with a set-piece chance. Argentina presented with the perfect chance here to open up their lead. He went for the corner. Well, technically, that was a beautifully struck shot from so far out. And I just thought he was a little unlucky then. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Well, that's a booking, always looked it. And it's Fabinho. Fred goes long and forward. Now the cross. Big chance! Oh, the ball's come loose. Oh, it's there! Brazil are back in business. Neymar was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Well, listen, last line of defence and you don't get it right then you're paying a visit to your net. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Casemiro knocks it towards the front. That had too much on it. Celso, who saw this coming? Extraordinarily, they have been denied as late and as dramatically as can be. Aguero did well to pick out. Aguero, who just couldn't get the ball to sit for him. Danilo. Brazil have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Firmino. The shot's on! Goal! Brazil! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Brazil take the lead. Oh, that's tremendous. They've shown it again and again in this competition. They'll fight to the very end. You have to admire them for their spirit. Messi. He's not played the ball. That's a foul. And it's Paredes. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. 
Messi. Let's wrestle off the ball. Spoon forward. Taliafico gets it back. He's made sure that that won't get through. Casemiro. And it's Firmino. Danilo. Passes it through. Taliafico pumps it upfield. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Aimed in towards the centre. Correa, Alexandro battles to win it back. Danilo. Paredes. Firmino with the ball through. And through to the goalkeeper. Martinez done very well to intervene. And that will be the final act. Quite a game, memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes and astonishing turnaround. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Yeah, defeat in, in any of these type of games is, is the ultimate disappointment. You can't fault the effort and the endeavour we saw, but they probably just lacked a, a little adventure and not enough ambition in their play, and ultimately I think they paid the price. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and 